Okay, so hopefully you've downloaded this from the PBWiki site and you've tried it and you've come here to check to make sure that your answers are correct. So this is a quick little quiz to make sure that you've understood what happened in 6.4. So I'm going to sketch these functions for you so that you know what you're doing, hopefully, by the time you're done. So y equals negative sine theta. Mine didn't have the negative, so I had to add it in. So because the axis don't have any scale on it, it says label the scale on both axes. Make sure you do that. Some students didn't do that in my class, and of course, I couldn't give them full marks because they didn't know if they knew what they were doing. Okay, so a negative sine theta, and I know that sine theta has a period of 360 degrees. So I make this here, I cut it in half, I cut those in half again, so I've got nice quarter division here. So this is 180 degrees, and I've got plus and minus one. So it's a negative sine function, so that means it goes down first then back to the zero, then up and back down. And there's your negative sine theta. Okay, don't be shy about extending it past the graph. Um, it didn't ask for any certain period or how, how many cycles I needed to do, so that's what I've done. Cos theta, well, if you don't know cos theta by now, go back and watch the first lesson. So cos theta, maximum positive one, negative one. I do my division of my axes into quarters again. It's going to come important to you later on, so keep practicing that. And I know that the cos starts and ends at the same height, and the lowest point is at 180. And the others are zeros. So boom, just like that. There you go. Y equals cos theta. Okay, the next one, y equals minus 2 sine theta. Well, it's going to be the same as this green graph, right? Except I'm going to change the scale and make those plus and minus 2. So that's all I have to do here. I'm going to say, oh, this is 2, this is minus 2. Again, write your 360, divide it in half, a half, a half. And it's going to go down first. So sine theta, sine theta, sine theta starts on the x-axis, right? On the x-axis. Then to the lowest, to the zero. If you get back and you're not back at zero, then you know you've missed something along the way. And there you go. Not bad. Okay, 2 sine 2 theta plus 1. Oh my goodness, so many things to figure out here. The first thing you need to do is find a ruler. Mine seems to have disappeared. Whoop, there we go. Plus 1. This is my axis. Right, so I'm going to write that on first. So I'm going to make this 1. Now the amplitude is 2, so how far do I need to go up? So I add 2 to the 1, I subtract 2. So here's 1. 1, 2, 3. It's got to go to 3. And from here it's going to go down 2. So my scale's not perfect, but there's my minus 1. So that's 2 down and 2 up. Here's my axis. I'm going to I'm going to make a quick dotted line here where my axis is going to go. Actually, I'm going to use color for this one. Mm, what color should I use? Oh, I have so many choices today. Okay, here's my axis. So that's y equals 1. It's a little bit crooked. Like I said, I'm working on the side here. Okay, so the highest point is going to be 3. And I'm going to dot these one in just pencil so that it's nice and... Uh, nice and even. Right? So that's as high as I want it to go. This is as low as I want it to go. And it's a regular sine function, so that means it's going to start at zero. All sine functions start on the axis. Remember that. Oh, I forgot my scale here. I would lose marks for that. Oh, and it's two theta. Oh no, two theta. So what's the period? Period is 360 degrees divided by k, divided by 2, that gives me 180 degrees. So I want this one complete cycle in 180 degrees. I divide it in half, divide those in half again. I'm sine, I start on the axis. My maximum will be the next point, then a zero, then a minimum, then a zero. Make sure you're starting and ending 
on the axis. Okay, you've moved your axis. Whoops, I've had a little dip in it. Okay, so that's 2 sine 2 theta plus 1. That was a little trickier one, wasn't it? Okay, let's go to this one. 1 half cos 1 half theta. Okay, so I have a very small amplitude. It's only a half, right? A half. And the period is the one I need to know first. So let's figure out what the period's going to be here. Do you remember the equation? Period equals period equals 360 degrees divided by one half, and that would be times two, so 720 degrees. So I don't have any vertical shift. My axis is still going to be right here, right? Right where it was. No vertical shift up or down. So I'm going to make this 720 degrees here. I'm going to divide it in half for 360. 360 divided by 2 is 180, and 180 and 360 is 540. Okay, so my amplitude, though, is only a half. So I'll just call this a half here and minus a half here. Now, it's a cosine, a positive cos function. So that means it has to begin and end at the same height. The lowest is in the middle, which is at 360 this time, and my zeros at the other quarter marks. So there you go. Beauty. And the last one, minus cos theta minus 2. So minus 2 means I need to change my axis from 0 to minus 2. So let's say this is minus 1. This will be minus 2. Mm. Oh, it's a nice color. Teachers like it when you use color. But not for your math, right? Always use a pencil. Okay, so this is y equals minus 2. I'm going to label that here. Minus 2. What is the period? Well, the k value here is just 1. So that means this is going to be 360 degrees. One complete cycle. And I divide it into quarters. Okay, so it's a negative cosine function starting at minus 2. So from minus 2, I add and subtract the amplitude, which is 1. So that goes to minus 1. And I subtract 1. So minus 2 minus 1, this is going to be minus 3. Okay, so it's a negative cosine function. Negative cos. Remember up here, we did the positive cos. It starts at 1. So this is going to start at the lowest point. So again, when you sketch these, just think it's cosine. So I start and end at the same height. So I'm starting at minus 3. I'm going to end at minus 3. I'm going to have my highest point in the middle here at 180. And that's going to be at minus 1. The other two are going to be my zeros or the marks on rate right on the axis and I go like this. Sometimes they're pretty flat, right? There you go. And there you go. There's minus two minus cos theta minus two. Okay, so I hope you downloaded that, you tried it, and yours match mine. Have a good day and good luck.